Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. This time we're on the computer. And I've just picked up this brush. It's a, it says watercolour set. Um, this one's... What's that? Watercolour wash. Since I've been uh, using watercolours. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. It's hmm, interesting. <laughs> Uh, since I've been using watercolours recently, I might as well... Uh, I wonder if that is using this colour. It is. So, I've got this grey page and I'm going to splodge in <laughs> using this brush. I've never used this brush before, it's quite interesting. Splodge in this wash of sky. Because what I want to do... I want to create this sky that I saw on the way home and uh, well scene really it was more of a scene and uh, see if I can create it and then paint it and, uh, and the sky it was kind of peachy <laughs> sort of a peachy colour really Let's see what that looks like Oh, I'm using the wrong. Uh, that's better. It's sort of an or it was sort of a, an orangey colour down the, the bottom part. I'm going to put clouds on top of this uh, just to shrink it because it wasn't quite as thick as this. Uh, Yeah, and then it had like more blue at the top. Oops. <clears throat> Quite a pale blue, really, so probably this. Yeah. Now. Clouds was sort of purpley. So it was sort of uh, what I could see <laughs> was the sky was showing up. Oh, I've done the wrong layer again. <laughs> the wrong uh, colour swatch. I've never used that one before, I don't think. Something different. Yeah, that's probably about right. Let's get some of this purple in here. So the sky had a uh, had a purple glow, so this works quite nicely. <laughs> it's kind of smoky as well, isn't it? So much on uh, Photoshop that I don't even look at. <laughs> I didn't even know about these brushes. I've been using the same brush, and uh, I like this effect smoky sort of effect probably need probably need and I'll leave that as a background layer um, I can't remember what I said now <laughs> you get into painting you forget what you're doing so um, yeah so there's a scene on the way home and it was a there was a van sort of there Let's put it in anyway. Uh, so I want I'll use that brush. That um, not a brush. There's a van here. I'll just uh, Something like that. Just using the uh, selection tool to 
paint it in. Yeah, so there's a van there. You know, there it was driving out away from me. <laughs> Maybe it was more like there. And uh, and I thought it looked ace. The way that it was being sort of uh, silhouetted by the light, and then you could see you could see the uh, lights on the back of it. Um, were they there? Hmm. <laughs> I think they were. I can't remember if they were up there or down here now. I think they were down here. If you hold down shift uh, when you do an extra one, you can do more than one. But anyway, this is quite rough. Yeah, I think they were they were there, and then you could see a little bit of the uh, the number plate as well, but not very much. See me struggling with Photoshop. <laughs> Here is me, struggling to do something on Photoshop. There we go. And uh, I might get rid of some of it. Yeah, so I'll leave that like that for now because we want to get the the whole story and so we've got the van, the sky, which created this that I really liked and then there was a bridge so we need another layer. Uh, the bridge was sort of like here. No, it's bigger than that one. About there I would say. Something like that, and it wasn't that colour. <laughs> it was on the very dark side. Probably, let's go with like a purple, a really dark purple. This top bit was a bit bigger than that, I think. So I'm trying to use my memory. It's quite hard painting from memory, isn't it? We're definitely getting closer to what I saw, though, um, saying that. Just delete that. Okay, something like that. And then, and then we got the road. <laughs> oh no. So this road went down, because this is at the top of the hill. So this uh, road would sort of vanish there. Sort of come across where we are. Might be more like this. Hmm. 
cut that out, put it on another layer. Something like that, yeah, something like that. It's definitely something like that. Uh, this uh, needs darkening, so I'll put a, uh, a curves layer on it. Create a clipping mask, so it just affects that. Um, this had me on it. <laughs> So there was actually a bit of uh, light and what I might do is put another another curves on there um, thinking about the light I'll just paint it in. So, get some yellow. Um, on a different brush. Something like that. A bit bigger. And I want it above the road. There. Whoops. That's too bright. Drop that down. Stretch it out a bit. Okay, that was me. <laughs> so we've got a van. Uh, the van and um, that wants to be darker as well so I'll put a uh, curves on that clipping mask and on this road layer to be lower there we go and I think that needs to be darker as well. Yeah, that's more like it. And then we want some around here and there. And then uh, you can't really see much there because you're going down a hill. That's why, that's why it looks so amazing because of the sky lighting the van up that's what i really liked about it so we can uh got the basic idea in now we can start painting more <laughs> the challenge is getting you well for me is to get that idea down get what you wanted originally So what do I want? I want pastels. Where's our watercolour brush gun? Wet media. I 
There it is. Go for the round. Yeah, that's all right. So I want um, this color. I'm gonna start putting in uh, a bit, a bit smaller than that. There's a barrier there, but I can't quite remember. So I might just. Uh, I think I will put a bit of a barrier. Imagine there's. No, there is actually a barrier there, I remember now. Something like that. that barrier in and then there's gonna round this off there. It wants to be more like that something like that and then this area here it's not like that so I might change Change this a little bit, have a little bit of colour in it from the sky. If I go quite light pressured, yeah. then what I want that sky to be a bit stronger because it was a lot stronger than what it is at the moment um, so we've got the van there sky layer there so we'll go on oops go on top of the sky layer and we can uh, use that wash strengthen it a little bit and start building it up so this what amazed me about this was uh, the way that the uh, light 
lit the van up. <laughs> and all I could think was, oh, I can't take a picture. I'd love to be able to paint that because of the way it's, it sort of it looks like a scene out of a movie or something. I thought it was amazing. And I was like, no, if only, if only I could have taken a picture. <laughs> and I thought I'll try. I don't know. Strong, isn't it? I know what I'll do. I'll create a, uh, a curves, darken it a bit, probably about there, and then I'll paint areas out. I don't want it to be too dark down here because I want this to be lighting up this. But up here, I don't mind it as much. quite liking that actually. So now um, thinking about this there, were, there was white lines wasn't there. Um, what could we do? Oh I know what we could do to improve the van is we could get a glow around the lights using, oh we could use this brush. Oop. Yeah. So let's zoom in on the van. I want that to be brighter than that. And then... I think. Let's try that brush. Not wrong colour. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I need a bit more control over that, so I'll do another layer. And then I'll do that and well actually let's look at it first. Hmm. That's quite good actually. That is actually quite good. I might leave that. Uh, something else I wanna do is Shrink this light because I couldn't see it that much. Where is the van gone? like my pressure sensitivity was turned off for some reason. I wondered what was going on. <laughs> it's 
some more weird going on there. Oh, I know what it is. Um, my mistake. <laughs> when you have a curves layer on top of it, you're best off merging it before you start doing more to it because if you have it on that layer, then it affects what you're doing. So you could pick your colour and use it and then uh, it affects it. There we go, that's more like it. Something else I'm gonna do is, is round the uh, tops. Maybe then. Imagine there's a bit of something there, bumper or something. <laughs> I don't know if you could see the mirrors, but it'd be interesting if you could see a bit. Maybe just the end bits. Looks at like, that looks really <laughs> that looks really alike what I saw. That's amazing. Right, um yeah, I'm amazed at that. And put a bit of uh yeah that's good and uh just guessing there was darkness there I'm just guessing right yes yes this is looking good this is looking I like what I saw um it's only the lines really now the, the road markings and uh, they would be probably that colour pick up a brush uh, real oils Ooh. interesting um, <laughs> it's just me messing around with uh, some of the things. Uh, natural edge. Mm, no. I think I'll go back to what I was using watercolour stuff. Watercolour build up. Brown watercolour. Watercolour wash. So we want to create our lines. I know there is ways to do lines on here that you don't paint, but being a painter, I like to make sure I'm still painting. That's not bad actually. I think this one Okay, we'll leave that. I like I quite like that. Um 
put a uh, clipping mask on that. Make it a bit darker and then I'll lighten it um, towards the. towards that area. Oh, and then the headlights would be a, lighten it up a bit as well. Ooh, I forgot about that. Um, Maybe another layer. Let's see if I can get a hint of yellow in it. I'm not sure if this don't think there's cat size down there. But anyway, we'll uh, drop the opacity on those. Just want a hint. Okay. So that is. That is about what I saw. That is not a bad representation. The only thing is about that area, I would. I'm not sure about this purple. I think, yeah. Well, what we could do is try. I could try using the blue and then see what happens. See if the blue works better. Use a um, wash again. Oh, that's why. Yeah. I think I'll use... Well, that's interesting. So I'd say no to that blue as well. Maybe it just needs a bit of darkness. Maybe if I do another curves and then drop the, uh, yes, yeah, that's it. And then uh, in that, so I can get rid of it and then bring it back again using paint just to darken these bits. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. I think that's about what it was. Um, possibly the bridge was... Was it bigger? Mm, I don't think it was actually. 
There's a walking bridge there. I think that's about right. I think what I need now is to just clean up some of the areas around here and then uh, just using my mouse then <laughs> just want a little bit goes along here Yeah, I think I'll call this one finished, actually. This is about what I wanted to uh, portray. <laughs> it's not like a uh, amazing scene. It was just, to me, I thought it looked really good. The way the uh, this vehicle was lit up by the sky and framed by the bridge. I just really liked it. <laughs> so anyway, there's me struggling along trying to create it. Um, you know, art sometimes, doing paintings, um, designing them, sometimes it's, you know, it's a challenge. <laughs> uh, to me it is anyway. And uh, there we go, there's a little JB there. So thanks very much for watching this one, and uh, you may see this one being painted in watercolours soon. <laughs> now the design's done be interesting to try and get these effects as well wouldn't it with paint so uh, at least I don't have to try and design it as well as paint it um, the sort of things you could put on if you wanted to be creative you could have a vehicle going across this or somebody walking across this um, there's all sorts of things you could do if you wanted to be a bit more creative than me um, yeah, so we'll call this one finished, so thanks very much for watching this one, and as he puts a few little random things in there, creating more of effects, Put there's things in there. You can, have, you can barely see it, but... Now there's a bit more in there. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching this one, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.